Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, basically we will see some important concepts which are remaining from the basic commands video. Okay. So basically in this particular video, we will first see about the how we can uh, run the container in the background. Okay. These all things which we will see and also we will cover in this video like how you can start the container, how you can stop the container. So these all, these all things first we will see in the particular video. In the next video, we will cover that creating images, then creating contents, all those things. Okay. So let's start with the video. Already in our previous video, we have covered this one. Like we have created that uh, images. Uh, sorry, we have pulled that image of Python. Okay. And now we will create the uh, container of that image. Okay. So just open the CMD. Uh, let me go into that directory where I do all those things. Okay. So now what you will need to do? Uh, actually, first we will see the images. What are the images we have? So currently you will see we, uh, we have on the Python image right now. And if you want to check for container, so currently you don't have any container. Okay. So the basic thing which we do usually uh, to run the container. So how we do it? It's just simple docker run and the particular image name. So currently here we have the image name as Python. Okay, if you do Python. So what happened now? If you will check for container. So one container has been created and it is exited. So what happened with this container created and then exited. Okay, it's not running in the background. Okay, it is now stopped. So when you use this command uh, docker run python okay and also which we had covered uh, in the last video that docker uh, run hyphen interactive terminal and the image name so here uh, we will just wait for five to ten seconds okay and i will just write the print uh, hello hello is printed also something else if you do class student uh, and if you do just pass here uh, sorry indentation error we got if you do pass okay just control d okay so this thing you can do like you have created a student as well uh, if you create the object of that class you can do that as well print s1 if you do yeah there you have the object okay so now we just exit okay now when we will see the uh, this one so here you will see uh, this one this is the container which is that okay uh, exited about a minute and now no this one this one is the one just exited three seconds ago so we waited some time and then after exiting we it's showing three seconds ago if you again check it will show some more second that is 26 seconds ago and if you do just docker pa so it shows the currently running to containers okay so currently you, you don't have any container running okay so to execute or to uh, run the container in the background we have some different flags okay which we use so the very uh, special flag we have is the hyphen d that is the detach okay we use this flag to run our containers in the background so how we can do it it's a very simple to use and also you will learn about some uh, uh, what you can say uh, one more flag that is the hyphen hyphen name you can give any particular name to the uh, container as well. So how we will do it? So if you want to do uh, first, I just do ps I just uh, remove these uh, containers for now. So how you can do it? Docker rm and you have to just provide this. Okay, done. Again, let me just copy this one. Okay, okay let's check again. Okay, we, we don't have any container right now. So now we will just uh, create a container and it will run in the background. How we can do it? So you have to use docker run and the flag which we will use for now is it that is uh, uh, interactive terminal and the name we will use. So I will pro give the name to the uh, docker is ps. You can pc. You can give it like that as well or like this as well. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm using this simple method that is ps without quotes. And we will use the hyphen d flag the detach and here we will need you will need to provide the image okay 
the name of the image which you have pulled so image name is this python okay so here you will see some kind of long string it may be a uh, docker id it uh, sorry container id it can be let's again search for docker ps a so here you will see um the details about the container id the image the command which is uh, basically used when we do it interactive cell when we do it 20k to 10 seconds i go status up 9 seconds here you can see up it means it's running and the name you can say is pc which you had provided right now here okay if you do now docker ps it will show you the running container so currently the running container is this one which is that okay that is 5d something is the id which we have got already here okay so now uh, moving forward uh, if you want to execute that container how you can do it for that also we have the command that is exit uh, means executor you can pronounce it like that like we have exec and here you will need to provide the it cell that is uh, interactive terminal flag not shell and then you will provide the name and after that you have to just give the which command you you want to execute so currently we want to execute this python 3 okay so if you do python 3 so here you got it uh, you got the terminal that you can do print uh, anything okay so in this way you can use the uh, containers and you can run the containers in the background okay so so now what we will need to do uh, later uh, right now we will see uh, how you can stop the container as well for now I just exit from this interactive shell and I will just clear the screen and check for ps running and now I will do this stop so how you can stop docker stop here you can provide the name of the container <laughs> or just a container id it, it takes some uh, approx 30 seconds of time for stopping the container okay just wait for it okay so now container has been stopped if you again go for ps uh, something so here you will see there is no running containers for now if you do ps a so the container will be there again if you want to uh, what we can say start the container how you can do it it's simple uh, just instead of stop you can use this start okay so now if you go for ps uh, that is running container so we have that this one up nine up four seconds again if you do nine seconds ten seconds eleven seconds twelve seconds okay so our uh, container is running so i hope you got it uh, how you can execute the uh, command or how you can start the container stop the container run the container in the background so these were the some important concept concepts of the docker okay which we had uh, by mistake left currently now it is covered so in our next video we will surely uh, do that one uh, creating docker file and creating image and then all those things particular okay so if you have any query you can ask in the comment section otherwise that's it for today's video and i will meet you in the next one thank you for watching